What's up and welcome to day number 6, 77, 78 or the 2024 season. Just took my sprint, heading back home. Let me just turn this off so you guys don't have any sound interference. So, uh, a, bit, <laughs> a bit tired. If now I'm feeling good, I am tired uh, because my body took a bit of a beating with my first MMA lessons. Uh, combined with all the extra training so basically uh, what I wanted to talk about today is while I drive home I'll explain to you uh, the principle of GPP which basically stands for general physical preparedness and just how kind of how it works and how volume works and how you should basically manage your body so uh, basically normally my baseline for my body to recover from is training six days a week. I train every single morning from 6.30 till about 7.30. Uh, I train every single day, except for Friday, six days a week. I train for an hour. So my body is completely used to recovering from that amount of volume. So, and I tend to do the same amount of exercises because you can only cram so many exercises in an hour and kind of that's how I train so I up the volume sometimes a little bit and of course I up the intensity because I keep going heavier and heavier and heavier so there is some extra stress being put on my body um, but now doing the whole MMA thing for example I've added like an extra hour to my body's um, recoverability basically so my body has to get used to it and feels a bit more beaten than it normally should uh, because it's I did, I did it yesterday so it makes sense but basically this is kind of how it works and the more you improve this the more you improve your GPP basically so your work capacity uh, the more training volume you can handle and the better you'll recover because there's whole, a whole lot more you can do uh, people tend to compare it and I think this is a very good comparison uh, it's a bit like a sink so if you have a sink with a very small drain draining hole um, and you just put the water on like the max yeah, you basically turn the tap on all the way at some point it's gonna back up and it's gonna overflow and because your body and that's kind of what your body does as well you can't recover from it anymore there's too much water there's too much stress on your body and your body kind of starts to accumulate stress and it can't recover from it anymore in time but that being said though uh, GPP so your general physical preparedness your work capacity is kind of the whole draining hole of the sink if you increase the size of the draining hole so if you increase your GPP uh, it kind of means you can put the faucet on all the way so the tap is on all the way and it's fine so because your body is used to the amount of volume it can handle it so it recovers from it just fine while the input is still the same the way your body handles it is much more efficient and this is kind of what increasing your work capacity does so the more you do and the more you get you kind of you have to kind of work up to it but the more you get your body used to a certain amount of stress and stimuli for example it, it, it just adjusts to it so at some point you can add more water to it and your, your sink isn't gonna overflow because your draining hole so your GPP is bigger and you can add more water then because it will take a lot longer before it starts to overflow again and this is a cycle you kind of want to endlessly repeat until at some point you've maxed out your GPP uh, so you've maxed out your work capacity but that being said that's almost almost impossible to do so uh, this way you can kind of keep improving and keep improving and keep improving so now that I've added about an extra hour uh, to my training sessions I also have some homework of course that I need to do so I'm practicing um, uh, next besides my personal training in MMA and this way so I've did a little bit like a 15 minutes uh, technique session today as well so it, it all kind of adds up to your uh, physical preparedness and this way it will all add up and we'll start to see some more results 
um, and I want to get good at MMA. So that's kind of where I'm at now. And that's kind of a short story on how the GPP system, how it works and how you can basically improve your, improve your way of doing things and improve your efficiency in training. So you actually see more progress and get more gains from it. Uh, that being said, ooh, a bit big bump. Uh, I'm back home, so I hope it's a short drive. I hope you all have an awesome day and I will see you all once again tomorrow for another day uh, where I might explain something else. But for now, stay awesome, have a great day. Enjoy yourself, don't do anything stupid and I will see you all tomorrow.